garbage in, garbage out. That's what we say with regard to data and reporting. If the data that you put into the system is bad, it's likely to show up that way on a report. But what if there was a way to help clean up the data so that even if some garbage makes it in, it will still show up the right way in a report? We have people thinking about this and Trevor Paulson has the motivation and ambition to help solve the problem. His sneak works magic on data and turns garbage into something that you can actually present. Trevor, please show us how it works. Let me tell you a story. When I first started working as an analytics consultant at Adobe, I accidentally sent the word poop into a customer's production reports. And if you're not that familiar with Adobe Analytics, CEOs and VPs use these reports to make big important decisions about the direction of their business and their product in board meetings and stuff. And so having the word poop in those reports is incredibly embarrassing, and it was incredibly embarrassing for me. But truth be told, getting data right when you're dealing with billions or trillions of data points is actually really hard. In fact, it's something that our customers struggle with all the time. What I'm gonna show you today, called Dimension Builder, allows you to really fix that stuff in an easy way that's never been possible before in our new product, Customer Journey Analytics. You can see here, I've got a typical report that a CMO or a CEO might look at, showing the top campaigns we had for a family dinner time promotion that we ran. You can see by looking at it closely that there's some problems. The first one is missing a comma, which looks bad in this report. And in fact, in some cases it had the comma, so the data is actually split up. You can also see there's a bad value in here, dev add, the developers accidentally put that in there. Um, but what you don't see is the missing wine plus dinner campaign. It was a big campaign that we ran and I don't see it anywhere in here and everyone's gonna wanna know how it did. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix all of this stuff. Dimension Builder is a brand new way that lets you define new dimensions that fix all of these data issues. To create a dimension, I'm gonna hit this new plus button that we've added and it will pull up a new builder to fix this stuff. I'm gonna name it fixed add name and basically define a set of conditions that can be used to merge data, to remove bad data, or to add in data that might come from a different place. So first of all, let's start by getting rid of that bad stuff. So I'm gonna add a condition. If add name equals let's eat kids without the comma, then I'm going to change it to let's eat kids, eat kids with the comma. Let's also get rid of that bad dev add value. I'm gonna do that by saying if add name equals dev add, then set it to null, essentially eliminating it from the data. So let's see how that did. When I hit the save button, you can see it's created a brand new dimension that I can use. I'm going to go ahead and drag that in and replace the old dimension that I had with all the problems. What's happening behind the scenes is that it's going through billions and trillions of data points, fixing and correcting and applying all of that logic that I just defined, all within seconds. And you can see by the time I even got done explaining that, the report came back and all the problems are magically gone. So let's eat kids now has the comma like it should. And that dev ad is now missing as it should be. Now let's see if there's a, another trick we can use to find the missing data for that wine plus dinner campaign. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this dimension and add another condition. Now. Oftentimes, when we track information, it's stored in a URL, like you see up here up above. A URL can contain clues as to what you're looking at. And in this case, we can use that to know if a user has seen this campaign or not, even though we didn't explicitly track it. And to do that, I'm actually going to scroll down to find the query string parameter and point it at the add URL by setting it to the add parameter. And uh, I also know that it maps to 
a specific value of D11. That was the tracking code for that ad. Then I'm going to set it to the missing ad campaign. Wine plus dinner equals winner. And I'm gonna save it. Now it's going through and finding every place in the URL where it can find that little code and add it in as if it was in there all along. When it comes back with the report, you can see it's our top performer. That's super exciting. Our CEO is gonna be super pumped that it did so well. Now, if I had to know ahead of time all of the different problems that might occur in the data, there's a lot that I might miss. If I even look beyond the top 10 here, you can probably see that there's other problems. Oh, yep, there's that pesky value again. Or there's other things that should be removed. So where we're really taking this to the next level is a new Sensei-powered machine learning algorithm that will scan all of the values for you so that you don't have to be embarrassed and find it on your own in front of your executives. So let's hit that auto scan button and it's combing through all of this information and you can see that it's found some values that need to be removed, some values that are misspelled, and other values that should just be merged together. I'm gonna to go ahead and accept all of these changes. And when the report comes back, you can see it's perfectly fixed, almost like magic. Now I don't have to worry about being embarrassed in front of my company's executives with bad data. That's Dimension Builder. Thank you, Trevor. I'm sure that you'll have some interesting comments about that. It was both funny and innovative. There are a lot of us who can relate to getting some of the accidental or bad data into the system and hope that your technology will be available soon to help us fix those situations.